This evening, tributes are pouring in from Hollywood and far beyond after the sad news today of the death of Patty Duke, the beloved child star who went on to a decades-long legendary career on stage and screen, winning an Oscar, serving as president of the Screen Actors Guild, and going public with her very personal battle and helping so many others. Her family says she passed away early this morning at the age of 69. NBC's Cynthia McFadden looks back. Meet Kathy, lit most if you were a television fan in the 1960s, the theme of the Patty Duke show is sure to bring a smile. What a crazy pair, but they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. She said not long ago that people still approach her in airports and sing the whole thing. Her first starring role had come at the age of 12. Dazzling Broadway as Helen Keller in The Miracle Worker. Four years later, she won the Academy Award for her film portrayal of The Blind Girl. <laughs> At the time, the youngest person to ever win. It is the story that defined her career. In her 30s, she took on the role of Keller's teacher, oh. Annie Sullivan, for television. How bright she is! This time, winning an Emmy. She married four times, most famously to John Astin, who played Gomez on The Addams Family. They raised two sons. Both became actors. But she says the love of her life was her husband of the last 30 years, Michael Pierce, with whom she adopted a son. While they were together, she wrote an autobiography about her struggles as a child and her battle with bipolar disease. The first celebrity to go public with that diagnosis, she became a powerful advocate for others with mental illness. I can now kind of look back from the grandma chair yeah. <laughs> and say, it's a good life. Playing yeah. many starring roles in one lifetime. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, New York.